Chapped. <laughs> ah! Ow, ow, ow. Stop clawing me. Stop clawing me. Ow! <sighs> On day 47 of I Shouldn't Be Alive. If you think I'm crazy, like sis, I think so too, okay? <laughs> like, I, I'm not mad. On the list of very, very few things that I'm good at, posture is not on the list. The reason that this video is gonna be different from the other two that I posted is because normally I am a very jokey joke person. Like, everything is a joke to me. On the very few list of things that I'm serious about, this is something that I'm seriously serious about, and I wanna put it out there that I, I do, like my mom said, I have a vivid imagination, but I couldn't even make this stuff up. Since people are so interested in my Angie story, I just thought I would share all my paranormal experiences that have happened recently. It would be literally impossible to cover every paranormal thing I've ever experienced because we would literally be sitting here for the next four years. So I actually kind of have more than one ghost. So Angie's like my main girl. She. And she's my best friend. We go shopping together. We go to the mall together. We hang out together. Like, <laughs> I actually have another ghost friend. Her name's Annabelle. But uh, Angie's like my friend, and Annabelle's like my queen. Like, she's quiet. She stays to herself. She watches from a distance. So I'm not even gonna talk about her yet. That's a whole different story for a whole different time. <laughs> I don't really want to repeat the whole story about Angie because if you're watching this, chances are you got here because you watched Shane's video about me talking about Angie. So there is this mountain where I live called Lookout Mountain and it's actually like a super, super pretty. Everybody goes there. Anyone who has lived in this zip code in their life has gone there. What I didn't know is that there has actually been an abundance of murders there and it's like a super, super popular place for people to dump bodies apparently and... That's like a whole different story. So basically me and my best friend Trinity went there. I believe it was November, December-ish of 2015 and I took this picture next to the stop sign and in the picture you can kind of see all of something's hair all over me, her figure. <laughs> I really looked at the picture and lined it up. I didn't really think anything of it until things started happening to me. So to start, how do I know when Angie is here? I know when Angie is here because I just get this like sensation in my whole body where like I just have chills everywhere. Every hair on my arm just stands up. It's such like a crazy feeling and everything just gets like kind of like crisp and cold and blow we say you can feel when someone's watching you that's exactly what it feels like and she's not always here <laughs> she comes and goes it's kind of like a restaurant like you come in get what you want go <laughs> main things that happen in my house is i will all the time hear like tapping and scratching on my walls like all all the time and that's kind of another thing that I think Angie does when she comes is she kind of does like this little tap and it just kind of is consistent through the night and it just doesn't stop. It goes all night. The thing that freaks me out the most is when I hear whispers and no one really believes me about this, but I do just genuinely hear whispering all the time and it's kind of like soft things like it'll just be like my name or something. Most of the time, to be honest, it's not even like real words, like breathing, like, like they're trying to say something, but... I don't know if they can really get the words out. Listening to myself talk, I actually do sound freaking crazy, but. So another thing that happens super, super often is I will see, like in my Snapchat videos, I take a lot of videos, like with the flash on, when I kinda, I do it when I hear something or I hear whispering and I just kinda wanna see what's around. So there will be orbs flying around or faces that pop up in my Snapchat. Mom, help. Oh my god! Damn bitch, you got a cough or something? Seriously. Chill. Angie, stick your tongue out if I'm gonna be alone forever. <laughs> At least she's honest. All night there is 
knocking on my walls and footprints in my room and you can hear people literally running around downstairs. Literally my mom always says it house settling noises. But then a couple weeks ago she admits that our house was built on some sort of railroad burial grounds. Another thing that happens a lot is when I'm driving, especially at night, I'll see some like I'm just driving down the road doing my thing and there will be like, I'll see like figures of people walking on the sidewalk and when I look over, nobody's there. So it's kind of just out of the corner of my eye. I don't know if that's just like me having bad vision and seeing trees or something. One thing a couple days ago that really freaked me out, dad got us all the Sonicare electric toothbrushes. If you don't brush your teeth for two minutes a day, me either. I heard this buzzing and beeping and this is actually the second time this is the second time. Okay, there's a freaking spider. It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> this toothbrush was just going wild. <laughs> Read some of these tweets that really stood out to me and kind of like respond to how I feel about them. So for... This first one said, if your soul enjoys bathrooms or dark and cold places, you are not with good company. Please use salt, white smoke, and prayers to try to bring some calmness, calmness to your environment. Also, she hangs around a lot and that makes her attached to the sister's body. That's actually not good. I don't know how to reach you, but I think you need to stop mentioning her name or giving the soul attention because she can follow you if she felt connected to you. That soul is distracting itself and using Morgan, I think, to do so. That is not a healthy attachment. Please see and I don't know what the rest said, but I did this because I like to do it, but I always, always, always shower in the dark. <laughs> okay, I'm actually really freaked out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of tearing up a little bit. <laughs> I always take showers in the dark. My roommates at college thought I was crazy. I just find it more like peaceful to shower in the dark. I don't know why a lot of people think it's crazy because it's not even like I have a light on. Like I will literally turn off the light, shut the door and it's pitch. <laughs> black and kind of like your eyes adjust so you can see a little bit but I've just done that I just love darkness I light up there doesn't even have light bulbs in it ever I don't turn on lights like the most light that I'll ever turn on like these little ones back here I will never have my room fully lit and I thought that was just kind of like a personality thing that I just really like the dark so that tweet really freaked me out because I am just like weirdly obsessed with darkness and the second part of their tweet you just really talk about her very nonchalantly and people i'll be like oh yeah angie did this last night like she opened my door or something and I, people are like <laughs> bitch what so you just talk about her like she's like a person in my life and which probably isn't good okay this one was an email that i received um that it doesn't have a name it just says dear morgan i am the watcher i've been involved in ghosts since i've been really small and the video you did with shane was interesting all the signs such as weird noises weird sightings reoccurring dreams sleep paralysis and most importantly your dog's behavior are a sign of a demonic presence i would suggest a greater caution and i will show you the dog the dog is freaky there's a bathroom downstairs that the dog absolutely will not go into um the most haunted place in the entire house i don't go down there because f that you want to play a game watch this okay so you get him a nice little treat he loves them ollie do you want a treat oh see he loves them oh look at him dance ah spin oh yeah he'll follow you oh yeah jump on that couch Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta try again. <gasps> come on. Okay, come on. See, he's starting to get... As the closer I get to the bathroom, the more scared he gets. He doesn't even want to look at it. <sighs> <sighs> and even my room sometimes, like I feel like the animals are skeptical to come in. Stop, literally cut it out right now. Stop. Literally, I'm gonna freak out if you don't stop. Oh my God, oh my God, there's orbs, literally get out. The dreams, I've had the same like sleep paralysis dream since I've been to this mountain and it doesn't happen as often anymore. Um, 
but like I said in Shane's video, it's kind of it's always me in a cave, like a super dark cave. There's just like this girl and with the black hair that was kind of it's kind of very a very similar figure to the figure that was in my picture. I actually had one a few weeks ago where she was, I don't remember what she was telling me, telling me not to do something. So <laughs> I don't remember, and she like, I don't remember what you're telling me not to do, but I hope I didn't do it. <laughs> a girl named Lisa and she says, I would like to point out that the demons like to trick people into thinking that there's someone they aren't and try to earn their trust. I wouldn't be so okay with Angie sticking around, stay safe. I think that I also got a lot of comments about how I'm very like, calm about the situation and I'm not very like like I don't talk about it as if I'm scared and I'm very nonchalant about it and that is because I don't really think of Angie sometimes I get freaked out when I say her name to be honest I think that if Angie was an actual demon she has been this picture was taken like two and a half years ago so i think that it doesn't freak me out because it is it is so normal to me now to just hear things and see things it used to really 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 scare me and now i'm only like half scared <laughs> and now i'm only like half scared and now i'm only like half scared and now i'm only like half scared <laughs> okay i'm getting a little freaked out i feel like when i talk about her i start to get freaked out uh, um so I'm just saying that I think if she was trying to really hurt me, she would she would have already done it, you know? Like that's that's my opinion. experiences where I feel a little like I don't want to say overtaken by a presence, but overwhelmed by a presence where I start to really like say crazy things or do crazy things at the time, but I got so mad that I like picked up this chair that I was sitting on literally chucked it at the wall and that's like i don't know it's very like out of character for me i feel like i'm not like a very angry person like that happened i'm kind of like who like what what made me do that you know and it doesn't like it doesn't feel like it's me like when those things happen it doesn't feel like it's me <laughs> This video is getting in, like too dark for comfort. The times when I was, I felt like I was in the room watching me. Like if I was at the gym or something, sometimes I would feel like I was like standing on the other side of the room watching me work out. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just have issues. Like I don't know. Hey, Angie was hanging out over here. Which sometimes I can figure out where these ghosts hang out because the cat will go like actually ballistic and just start running around and sitting in the kitchen and she ran from the kitchen she started freaking out to the front door and then i found angie's face over here what stop stop it stop it stop it oh my god stop angie you have a lot of new friends that would like to say hi oh my god oh my god you scared me oh yeah i'm scary I just remember that they told us. Told us what? That the railroad actually owns our property until like 200 years from now. And it was on top of the Arapaho Indians burial ground. I, I, I like a place of order. Do you think our house is haunted? Nope. But yes. I think your cat's stupid. Oh, for some reason. <laughs> that wasn't the question. No hazardous activities, no annoying light, sounds, or odors. Yeah, mom, I gotta go. The other day, you sent me a text message asking me if I was home, right? Yeah. Which I wasn't. I had left literally hours ago. You heard running around my room and tapping on my walls. And what do you have to say about that? I don't believe in ghosts, so there's, so what there's gotta be a logical answer. So what's your but logical the, answer? The, Tell us. The cat and the dog, is, it happened two days in a row and I, actually heard things falling on your ceramic tile on your floor, your tile. And then I heard like settling noises, which I, I bet it's just settling noises. Yeah. That's it, house settling noises. The house has been here for 18 years, I think it's settled. Oh, big news. Whoa, that's enough for a ghost. And it doesn't seem to bother you that I don't sleep because I wake up every night at 3 a.m. I, I did hear noises when you and Shane and Ryan were in the room. Uh, like of kids, but they're gonna just think kids. kids. Yeah. 
Okay, let me. Talk. Are you ridiculous? No, it's okay. This would probably. It's kind of more like that. That you hear coming from my room when I'm not home. Well, yeah. Well, Morgan, it's house settling noises. That's what we do. It's Angie. I'm not settled. <laughs> so, where do you think the paper went? Well, I thought it was. Um, it was here. I think Angie took the shit. <laughs> Mom, it's not my fault. I was born with an unnatural passion for the supernatural. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> shh. Walls, shh.